everybody, I am Neharika and today we are going to talk about crime. Well, every day I wake up in the morning and open the newspaper, all I read is about crime. In today's world, the crime has become very gruesome, you know, with times. And all you see is someone killed somebody or the bank was robbed and so on. Where has the world come to? Well, there are formal terminologies that are used by the lawyers and by the newspaper editors and that's what we are going to look at today so that you can understand it better or even talk about crime on daily basis. So first let's understand what is crime. Now crime is an illegal action or an illegal activity. For example, killing your boss is a crime. Even if he's a terrible boss, yes, unfortunately, it's very much a punishable crime. Well, just kidding. So crime is an illegal action or an illegal activity. And the person who commits a crime is called a criminal. Alright, now remember you never use the word crime as a verb. You would never say he crimed or she crimed. That is completely incorrect. Well, you use the verb commit, okay? You use the word commit that collocates the word crime. So, she committed a crime or this person commits a crime, okay? So commit is the verb that you are supposed to use, okay? Now we are going to look at a couple of crimes. Now we have violent crimes, okay? And the first one that we have is armed robbery. Now what is armed robbery? When a robber or a group of robbers try to rob a store or maybe try to rob a bank and they are carrying weapons, weapons such as uh, a gun or maybe knives and they threaten people or they try to hurt people with these arms, okay, with these weapons, then it is called an armed robbery, okay. Now, uh, for example, you can say that there was an armed robbery at the bank next to my house, okay. So this means robbers robbed the bank and they were carrying weapons, okay. The next one that we have is mugging. Mugging is a very quick, violent robbery on a person and usually it takes place in a public place. Okay, uh, so for example, a person is walking and maybe a biker uh, comes and tries to assault this person in a very violent attack and drops his wallet and his watch or maybe his rings. So that is called as mugging. You can say uh, there were three muggings uh, in our vicinity past one week, right? Then the next one that we have is assault. Assault is beating up someone. So maybe someone gets into a fight and you know beats the other person in a very violent manner. So that is that means that he assaulted that person, okay? Maybe you got into a road rage, okay? And uh, you assaulted that person because you got really violent. You started beating him up. So that is assaulting. Another one that we have is sexual assault. Sexual assault is having forced sex. So when you try to, uh, well, the, another formal word for sexual assault is rape. Okay, so which means that you try to have forced sex without the other person's consent. So that is definitely a very punishable act. It's a very punishable crime. The next one that we have is manslaughter. 
So what is manslaughter? Manslaughter is uh, when a person kills someone but did not intend to kill that person. So it is a murder but it is an unintentional murder. Maybe someone was trying to uh, rob you or attack you and you wanted to save yourself and that's why you, you used some kind of a weapon to kill that person. So that is manslaughter. So it is not considered uh, by the law as bad as a murder. Okay, so this is manslaughter. It's a crime. Yes, it is a crime. However, you do not intend to kill that person. So killing a person unintentionally is manslaughter. So these are the types of violent crimes. Now let's have a look at white collared crimes. So now let's have a look at white collar crimes. Now what are white collar crimes? Well, these are certain thefts or frauds where a person is not physically hurt or physically threatened. Uh, let's have a look at what types of white collar crimes are. The first one that we have is tax evasion. Tax evasion is when you do not pay your taxes on purpose. You know, you try to skip on paying the taxes. So remember, if you're doing that, it is a crime. So please do pay your taxes on time. So tax evasion is on purpose when you do not pay your taxes. The next one that we have is bribery. Now bribery is when you offer lots of lots of money in favor of something really nice. Uh, maybe you offer uh, money to the politicians or to police officers to get your work done. That is bribery. So someone offering bribery or someone accepting bribery, both are considered as crimes. Okay, so please don't commit this kind of a crime if you are doing that. The next one that we have is identity theft. Now, what is identity theft? Well, it is when a person steals all the personal information of another person in order to get hold of their credit card details or to use their bank accounts. Now, that is identity theft. Or maybe there's this criminal who is trying to avoid imprisonment and tries to steal all the detailed information of someone else and uses it for himself okay that is also identity theft so the next one that we have over here is investment scam what is investment scam now you know there are companies who offer a very rosy picture to people they say that you have to invest so and so amount and your money will be doubled in a month's time Wow, that like sounds incredible, but trust me, it is not true. It's a complete fraud, a fraudulent scam. So maybe these people are trying to rob a lot of money. Okay, they're stealing your money where they're promising you that you would get great returns. But in fact, it's a complete scam. So that is investment scam. So these are the crimes known as white collar crimes. And now let's have a look at some crimes which are less punishable. The next type of crimes that we have are misdemeanors. Now misdemeanors are uh, not very serious crimes. Okay, uh, upon conviction, the criminals have to pay maybe a small fine or few days of imprisonment. So they are very less serious crimes. What are the types of misdemeanors? Well, let's have a look. The first one is vandalism. Now, vandalism is when a person or a group of people try to destruct a property, okay? Damage or destruct a property. So it's definitely a crime and it is called as vandalism. The next one that we have is prostitution. Now prostitution is having sex for money. 
In many countries, it's legal, but in the countries where it is not legal, it is considered as a crime. So where women have sex for money, that's prostitution. The next one that we have is trespassing. Now trespassing is when you try to enter into someone's premises, okay, or on, onto someone's property without permission, that's called as trespassing. And the last one that we have over here is drug possession. Drug possession is when people have illegal drugs. Of course, again, consuming drugs or having drugs is illegal in many countries, so it is considered to be a crime. So these are some less serious crimes and I hope this lesson would help you to talk about crimes or even the next time you are reading a newspaper, you know what this formal terminology means. I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care.